the silver mark of freedom his spirit was born Thara they named him Thara like the wind like the wind that is free Thara they named him Thara to be king of the bush his destiny in the secret mountain veins through the mist and ancient trees runs the ghost like horse so proudly silent as the breeze Thara they named him Thara he's the son of the wind strong and free Thara they named him Thara and the king yes the king Legends are like plants. They grow from tiny seeds. A deed, an action. A piece of news, a piece of gossip is passed from one to another. With each telling, it grows. Other stories join the first stories and then more. A strange mixture of the fantastic and the real. But legends are the stuff of hope, the stuff of dreams. In the high country and nearby lands, there was one legend bigger than all others. Where do you journey, old and wise sister? I travel north, far north, many more days, to the distant mountains to find a future king. Why? To see if the stories about him are true, and to decide if he is a king we southern Brumbies would want to respect and have as our king. Then I wish you a safe journey. And I you. You're a long way from home. Can I be of any help? I've come to find the horse who was born on the wind. The legend in my country tells of a ghostly spirit who melts into the snow and mist of the high country. It tells of bravery and of honour, and that this horse will one day be king of all the Brumbies. I have been sent to see if this legend is real. Oh, it's real, all right. The horse you're searching for is Thaura. His name means wind, and sometimes he's so fast it's like he's flying with the wind itself. Wise Benny and I have watched him since he was a foal, born in a storm and destined for greatness, at home in the elements, at one with the high country. In the morning mist or the wild whiteness of winter, as real as can be, but to the humans, a ghost and a legend. The legend you've heard is real enough. Can you take me to him? I'm sorry, no. He won't let you find him unless he wants to meet you. If you come as a friend, you must make your intentions clear. They say the bush has ears. Thara will hear about it. Thanks, Mrs. Dingo. Good advice is always welcome. I come as a friend. Goodbye, and good luck. It's quite amazing, really. Oh, truly amazing. You might even say astonishing. I'd say astonishing. Astonishing. There, I've said it. Here, one minute. Gone the next. Banished. Then back. No man can catch him. Or woman. Or woman. Quite so. Never caught, never will be. As simple as that. Fast and furious. Oh, clever and capable. Tricky. Oh, yes, tricky and elusive. Quite so. Definitely elusive. I'll catch you yet, you stormy devil! 
thank you. Um, I come as a friend. As a friend? Very wise, very wise. Sensible. Wouldn't want to come as an enemy. Vanquished. Poof! Like that. Vanquished by Thara. Mm, defeated. Beaten. Sent backing. Enemies are, aren't they? Yes, indeed. Next question. I was hoping to meet him. Can't say, won't say, don't know. Mm, mustn't say, damn say. Do know, but won't tell. Oh, I give up. Oh, don't give up. Come back. We haven't finished yet. We haven't told you about the time Thara captured the man. Yeah, and his giant leap. Or the time he rescued Golden. Or oh, the lost children in the snow. And the time he battled the beast. Oh, yes. You should have seen him. Golden's still here. Of course she's still here. Why are you here? I came to see if she's all right. Of course she's all right. I've been keeping an eye on her. The man's been tending to her. <laughs> Go and see for yourself. Talk to her, even. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just making sure the man's not about. Well, he isn't. Well, I want to be quite sure. <laughs> typical, typical. That'd be right. You don't trust me. Don't listen to what I have to say. Oh, I do, Wombat, always. But another few moments won't make too much difference. <laughs> Nobody ever listens to old Wombat. Not him. Greetings, wise one. I have come to meet with Thaura, and I... I know, sister. I can't lead you to him. If he wants to see you, then you will see him. So I'm told. I will wait. Perhaps your patience will be rewarded. In the meantime, I have come to warn you. You are alone in the territory of the feared and fearsome Brolga. Your own mate is too far away to protect you here. Don't worry. I'll take care. Mm. Oh, it's so good to see you, Thaura. And you, Golden. You look so much better. Oh, the man has been very kind and caring. I still think of that terrible beast and how frightened I was. But the wounds are nearly healed. Then come back and join us. I can't. I've thought about it a lot since I've been here chewing on the sweet hay. Do you remember the first night we met? Thaura? Come with me. Leave the men behind. You're one of us. Thaura, I want to. There's nothing I've longed for more, but I've been with the men all my life. We can chase the wind and run the high country together. No man ever on your back, no ties. Just free. It's what I heard you wanted. Quick, Golden, jump! Follow me, now! Steady, girl. Take it easy. He'll be back, and I'll be ready. I remember it well, but what I difference... I realise that things haven't changed since then. I've been around humans all my life. I can't change. But, Golden, you... The time I spent with you and Boon Boon and the herd have been the happiest, freest. But I wasn't brought up in the high country. I'm still a stranger to its ways. I know that now. You all tried to teach me, but whenever danger threatened, I... I returned to the soft comfort and protection of the man. But there's still time to learn, Golden. I'm better off with the man. We both know that. And the herd is better off, safer, without me. Thank you for your love, and for giving me the taste of freedom I yearn so long for. But it's, it's best this way. You go back to the herd, Thaura. 
and remember me fondly, please. Quite sure about this, Karawang? Oh, as sure as I am about your mighty powerfulness. <laughs> your mighty powerfulness, sir. Uh, a strange Brumby from far away. In my territory. Alone. Looking for a king. Uh. Yes, your often sought afterness. I'd better go see what this is all about. <laughs> Whatever takes your fancy, your inestimable bountifulness. Planning your death in the near future? Oh, certainly not your seeming omnipotence. Then get your claws out of my neck! Uh, what? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, your heavy quad-footedness. Oh, 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 Gentle Mopoke, greetings to you. Greeting also welcome, stranger. Oh, oh, that noise I hear just might mean danger. That noise speaks of someone who's arrogant and unfeeling. I've dealt with that sort of overconfidence before. I'll be fine. The Brolga's charm is often lacking. Give him hell. Send him packing. <laughs> 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 Excuse me, I don't think you realize it, but uh, someone very important is standing right behind you. I have been told you seek the king. Your search is ended. I am the king of all the Cascade Brumbies. <laughs> I think you must be having a joke with me. I don't see a king. I only see a rude, clumsy, noisy horse who intrudes on the solitude of his equal. Uh, 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 you shouldn't have said that! Grouchy, grumbling, granite head! I told you, you shouldn't have said that. Roaring doesn't impress me, Brolga. I'm looking for someone wise, swift, and silent. Someone beloved by all the animals for his kindness and consideration. Someone admired for his cleverness and beauty. Oh, that sounds like Thaura. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you come into my territory uninvited and speak to me like that? How dare you try and bully a stranger? I am the king! I am the leader! I defeated Thaura's father. I will defeat him. The time has come to deal with that cocky cult before he gets too big for his boots. Too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't heard the last of this, and that's a promise. Oh, book, oh, book. Nicely handled, nicely done. The war's not lost, this battle's won. Thank you, Mopoke. Just say that I'm not disturbed again. <laughs> Tell me of Thaura. Do you know him well, Mopoke? Know him well? He's like a son. He takes my advice to get things done. Mopoke, Mopoke. Oh, 
Make sure before you leap that the man is still and quite asleep. Thanks, Mopoke. That's exactly what I'm doing. Just before your mind goes snap, just think the man has laid a trap. I am being careful. Oh yes, Thara and I have been in many a fray, but now it's time to be away. A leader who takes care and heeds advice is a wise leader indeed. Farewell, Mopoke. Mopoke, Mopoke. I heard you wanted to meet me, Alinga. Oh, Thara. Thank you for seeing me. What can I do for you? For me? Nothing. I have seen what I came to see. The legend is real. And you will become king of the land you love, Thara. That is my vow. But you make it sound as if it'll definitely happen. It will. I am old, Thara. I have learned the wisdom of the bush. Knowledge of the future has always been with me. Ah, and you'll find the Brauger back with you very smartly. <laughs> Benny, it's good to see you. Ah, we meet again. I've been talking with Thaura of his future. I predict a golden one. Yes, I can well believe that. I've watched you with pride these last few years, Thaura. Seen you put your mother's teachings to good use. Seen you learn to be at one with the bush, to move more silently than any other horse. Seen you win the respect and love of all the bush animals. Seen the strengthening of your friendships with Boon Boon and Storm, and how their support has helped you grow into the fine young horse you now are. I must say, there were times I doubted you. He said he'd be here. No sense of time, these young Brumbies. I'll give him a few more minutes, Silky, and then we'll head down while we still can. Thara! Hi, Benny. Hi, Silky. Thanks for waiting to say goodbye. We couldn't have waited much longer, Thara. Our friends are well and truly below the snow line by now. I'm sorry, Benny, Silky. I, I lost track of time. You'd best be going. If the snow gets heavier, you'll be stuck here for the whole of winter. <laughs> Bye, Thara. Enjoy your winter's safety. Thanks, Benny. Mm, but my doubts now are past. Now I'm proud of you. Benny, thank you. But this is all a bit him. Hear me out, Thara. Oh, don't we always? If Alinga is right about your future, then you must earn your destiny. Man will always be a threat to your freedom while you taunt him with your courage and daring. And the Brolga won't relinquish his title without a fight. I'm afraid I might have added to your troubles with the Brolga, Thara. He left here very angry and threatened. No battle with the Brolga yet, Thara. You're still too young, and he's heavier and too experienced. Over here, boss! Right! I better make myself scarce. Here he is! Go get him! Keep your wits about you, Thara! While you can, Thara, but don't fall in a heap. That nasty Brolga's about to try that giant leap. Bravo, Super Sire! <laughs> Go get him! 
It's time for me to go back to my own country, to tell them what I saw and what I learned. You'll soon be our king too, Thaura, and you'll have our respect as you have here in your own land. Goodbye, Benny. I have enjoyed your wisdom. Goodbye, Thaura. You have won my love. Goodbye, Alinga. I hope we meet again. So Thara earned the love of even more bush creatures, and his fame and legend spread far from the high country. But Thara was not yet king. Don't worry, boss. You'll get him next time. <laughs> Thara had some more growing up to do and much more to learn and many adventures to be had before that great day arrived.